The, the Warrior Energy, they own the 29-20 advantage on the glass. They've been going to the offensive rebounding. Jordan Poole step back on Murray and he bottoms a three. And JP3 has a dozen to join that help you win games. And Draymond running the floor. Jordan saw the whole way. That's Draymond being two steps ahead of the defense. Game, post game, did it all. Catch and shoot Primo, one of the six Spurs that have hit a three. Erno made it to where he couldn't really turn towards the middle. Dante Murray and Pirtle. Pirtle sees Draymond and says, let me move that on. Shot clock at seven. Keldon Johnson spinning and flipping it up and in. He's strong, man. That's Wiggins in on Pirtle and hanging and finishing. He never Uncle Thompson. Trying to heat up a little bit. Remo flipping it up and in. And I like all that cross action. They're getting forget to box out. That'd be a great thing to take on the road trip because offensive rebounds get demoralizing for the other team. Just capitalize. Speaking of which, Clay Thompson's got another one. It's the third opportunity. And Poole buries a three. So you're the Spurs. You got stop, stop. Uh oh. Behind the screen. They're more than back in it after being down 14, but you got to crest the hill at some point. Keldon Johnson keeps him at bay. This is a big stretch of the season for Otto Porter Jr. because all the step out. He had 11 more games after this one. Just lock his swipe down. And so and this is why I say you got to keep at least a part of your body in between your man and ball. He's really got an uphill battle. And the technical free throw made. And you don't have Moses Moody. So you're down a bunch of bodies here. Played well for the Spurs. Good to see Wiggins hit those free throws. He missed his first one today, but he's four of five on the game. He's free throwing has been well prodigal the last couple months. And that's a jump ball. Otto Porter tying up Collins. That's the kind of help you need from the weak side. Clog up that paint. Again, the Spurs team, they want twos. They like layups. They're one of the top teams when it comes to points in the paint. Looney is there. He's occupied. Otto Porter comes in from the weak side and saying, I got you. Now you try to win this jump ball. Dante Murray. Always on the attack. He can get to that mid-range whenever he wants. This one's short. And Wiggins the rebound. And they make a push and take the lead. San Antonio's repelled the Warriors every time there's been a thrust. That one knocked away. It's the Warrior ball. They try to get those passes on those cuts, but Collins is right there. And the defender that's on Clay Thompson is still with him too, so you're trying to throw into traffic. Lay off back iron. You need Clay to heat it up. The seven straight shots. Give this first credit. Their defense has been pretty solid. Murray for three. His timely threes for San Antonio. 11 made tonight. They've kept their poise under pressure. Perry on Jordan Poole. And as Henny discontinued the dribble. The discontinued dribble and MB Warrior turnover. They're 11th. He tried that hesitation, rejecting the screen as Otto Porter leaves. Yeah, that was pretty discontinued. It looks even worse when you slow it down. Well, but. when the ball comes to rest, people always think about you're taking your hand underneath the ball. That's no. not it. When the ball comes to rest, that's when the officials will call that. Murray right then to the rim, and Steve Kerr's got to use the timeout. They tried to go to that zone, but what a lot of people don't realize is you can still screen that zone at the NCAA tournament right now. As your friend, I have done a great job of not mentioning anything about the NCAA tournament. Don't start with me. You're fragile right now? I am. Otto Porter Jr. flipping it up and out. And DeJounte Murray pushing the other way. This one has an ominous feel to it, to say the least. Playing without Steph, Raymond has been ejected, and Clay has missed seven shots in a row. 
Raptors have to find some way to turn this around. Porter Jr. That's a great rebound there. This is a moving screen now out of Porter Jr. So the Warriors have you know, turned it over 12 times now. And the points off turnovers are 19-8. Otto Porter just didn't really come to a stop. Kind of moved over to his right a little bit to see if he could make sure he got a piece of Clay's man. Ooh. Dante Murray trying to get into Collins. He came out of the pack but couldn't finish there. Hey, the guys in gold have been on the glass beautifully tonight. That's gang rebounding. It's on this end of the floor. Rudy sets up Poole missing the three-pointers there again. They're doing it rebounding-wise. Can they put it in the basket? Play corner three. Yes! That's perfect. The work on the boards and then realizing Collins in close to you if you're Otto Porter. Give Clay a handoff. I guess taking off that headband for Clay worked. They need this home crowd to get involved as Murray rims it in. Anytime there's a glimmer for the Dubs, the Spurs have an answer. Jante Murray knows he can trust that mid-range jumper. It's so reliable for him. Looney doing so many good things on the screen. Williams couldn't hit that three. But they're trying to use the fact that Collins doesn't want to come out there. He's all the way down by the restricted circle with those screens. He's the guy guarding him. Norman came back to knock that away. Good steal. Otto Porter has been impactful on the defensive side. Warriors can they up tempo and Porter will get to the line. Otto Porter.